Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Ucillo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about Collier deputies searching for a woman gone missing from Naples, Governor Scott declaring a state of emergency over algae blooms, and more. Today is Tuesday, July 10th, and this is the Morning Report. Deputies are asking for the public's help in locating a 31-year-old Illinois woman who's gone missing while visiting Naples. According to an alert issued by the Collier County Sheriff's Office, Ashley Bretchel is missing from Naples and was last seen by her boyfriend on Monday morning in the Naples Park area. At the time, she was driving a white 2010 Chrysler sedan with Illinois plates. Bretchel is described as a white female, 5'5 and 120 pounds with blue eyes and blonde hair. She was last seen wearing a pink one-piece romper. Anyone if Information about the missing woman is asked to call the CCSO's non-emergency line at 239-252-9300. Governor Scott issued a state of emergency in seven Florida counties, including Lee, due to the blooms of blue-green algae coming from Lake Okeechobee. The announcement came Monday afternoon, just hours after the governor toured the Caloosahatchee River in Fort Myers Monday morning. Heavy rains in May caused the Army Corps of Engineers to begin releasing water from Lake O into the Caloosahatchee as well as St. Lucie River to the east. The Herbert Hoover Dyke, which surrounds the south half of the lake, has been in need of repairs for decades, and engineers try to keep the water level low to avoid additional stress on the walls, which requires releasing the water. The fresh water releases can damage the delicate balance of salt and fresh water in the estuaries downriver, causing a number of environmental issues, including algae blooms. Scott blamed the federal government for not properly funding the repair of the dike in the past, but said that he hoped talks with the Trump administration would speed the process. Releases from the lake were scheduled to stop Monday morning, but new water monitors that have recently been installed in the Caloosahatchee should help the Department of Environmental Protection better understand understand the flow of water through the river. Additional funding from both the state and federal government has already advanced the estimated date of completion for the dike repairs from 2025 to 2022. President Trump chose Brett Kavanaugh, a solidly conservative, politically connected judge for the Supreme Court Monday night, setting up a ferocious confirmation battle with Democrats as he seeks to shift the nation's highest court ever further to the right. A favorite of the Republican legal establishment in Washington, 53-year-old Kavanaugh is a former law clerk for retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy. Like Trump's first nominee last year, Justice Neil Gorsuch, Kavanaugh would be a young addition who could help remake the court for decades to come with rulings that could restrict abortion expand gun rights, and roll back key parts of Obamacare. With Kavanaugh, Trump is replacing a swing vote on the nine-member court with a staunch conservative. Kavanaugh, who serves on the Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit, is expected to be less receptive to abortion and gay rights than Kennedy was. He also has taken an expansive view of executive power and has favored limits on investigating the president. With Democrats determined to vigorously oppose Trump's choice, the Senate confirmation battle is expected to dominate the months leading up to November's midterm elections. Senate Republicans hold only a 51 to 49 majority, leaving them hardly any margin if Democrats hold the line. Democratic senators running for re-election in states Trump carried in 2016 will face pressure to back his nominee. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Brie Walling. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.